I'm in Italy, which is the world's largest producer of globe artichokes. And I'd like to share with you the artichoke as a model for the complex and multi-layered nature of culture. You see, each of the leaves represents a single aspect of the behaviours and practices that characterise a culture. Clothing is one example, food is another example, language, but there are also other aspects, such as, for example, the degree of directness or indirectness in our communication, the amount of formality or informality in our relationships, and so on. These are all important aspects of the external appearance of a culture. To minimise cultural misunderstandings and to understand why people behave the way they do, it's important to strip away the outer leaves of the cultural artichoke, to reveal the softer, more succulent inner leaves that represent the values of a culture. Cultural values are its beliefs in what is right, what is good, and what is desirable. For example, a culture might emphasize the importance of reliability and punctuality. In such a culture, a typical defining phrase would be, time is money. Another culture might stress the importance of the group over the individual. And in this type of culture, a more typical defining phrase would be, a nail that sticks out will get hammered in. But to really understand a culture, it's important to go even further to the heart of the cultural artichoke, to the underlying assumptions of a culture. These are its attitude to issues such as individual or collective responsibility, the distribution of power or the nature of time. It's important for executives today to be sensitive to the risks of intercultural tensions. They need to look beyond the outer layers of the cultural artichoke to understand better the values and the underlying assumptions that drive different cultures. When executives ignore cultural differences and assume that others see the world as they see it, then the risks of misunderstandings and conflict are very high. So if you would like to know more, please get in touch.